What's up, everybody? If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining. If this is your re uh, return, welcome back, BFFs. Welcome back, BFFs. And I know y'all saying, what is a BFF? A BF, BFF means boss, family, and friends. You, too, can become a BFF. All I need you to do is subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you are notified each and every time I upload a video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment, like, and share. And then, guess what? I am everybody's favorite auntie. My name is Auntie Lottie. And for those that say, well, you ain't my auntie, just call me Lottie. It's all the same. So, anyway, y'all, we're going to get this party started. Because why? Time, time for some action. Hey, time, time for some action. Hey, what's up, everybody? How was y'all holiday weekend? How was y'all holiday weekend? Mine was pretty good, pretty busy. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. If y'all can tell, I sound like it was a lot. Under here, it looked like it was a lot. So right now, y'all, I got some leftovers right here. This Today is Tuesday. It is actually Tuesday. And y'all finna get this video Tuesday. These some leftover Hooters wings in the salad. I wanted to present this salad. Oh, and I got some root beer. I never tried this particular brand of root beer, so I'm gonna pour it in here. It's just Old Town. Old Town is an old drink old uh, company but I think they are uh, made by RC hope y'all was able to hear that because I got a few people that say they like the way it sounds going into the cup so I guess that's my fake ASMR, ASMR whatever <laughs> anyway I wanted y'all to see how beautiful the salad was, right, when we went to Hooters. So yesterday, um, I told, I don't know if I, well, yeah, I have said it before. On the 4th of every month in the Chicagoland area or the Tampa area, Hooters has 83 cent wings. 83 cent, but you got to get 10. You get them in 10s or 20s, which is still pretty dope. So um, we went, had a couple of the grandbabies over that came over Sunday. So we went and... Um, I ordered the 10 wings and I got the salad. I got the Hooter salad, but I had to add chicken to it. It looked so pretty sitting there. And I'm like, man, I wish I could find a way. Cause I didn't eat it there. I'm like, I wish I could find a way where I didn't mess this salad up by dumping it in this box. But it just wouldn't be that way. But here's a lesson that I learned in that. You gotta pay attention. When you going into these restaurants and they lining these salads up real, real good, you got all your eggs and your cheeses, everything lined up so perfectly, you got to pay attention because I'm so glad that I dumped that uh, salad over because that lettuce was so old and wilted. I was frustrated. And what it looked like, you know, I'm sure they got the salad mixed in a bag some type of way. And somebody just grabbed a, a mix that was probably old and thought they was just going to get away with it. So, of course, the manager came over. Very apologetic when it made it on its own. It was perfect, and it and I had he had it lined up in here. It was so perfect, but and I wanted to show it to y'all that way. But then I'm like, mm mm, because even though he made it and it looked perfect from the outside, and I had been moving it around on the inside, I still wasn't all the way sure, so I had to dump it all the way out. <laughs> so that's why it's looking like this. But it really is a good salad, y'all. Try to come up and give let y'all see a little bit there. It is a good salad. So, so anyway, y'all, and I got me some red onions that I like to eat with my Hooters, and I got the, some blue cheese. I just reheated these uh, wings. Y'all, my air fryer, I think she went on, I think she went on the glory on us. And she didn't check that on us, y'all. I had to put them in the oven. Mm, it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. Actually, it ain't. Not bad at all. But anyhow, my little air fryer, she gave up on. And so we got another air fryer, y'all. I'm going to be real honest. Never used it. It's like one of those an air fryer with a, a rack in there. Almost like a toaster oven too. Never used it before. I'm using it for storage now. I have to use it. <laughs> I got a pressure cooker. Never used it. It's a mess. I couldn't decide on what salad dressing I want. I got Catalina over here, ranch, and uh, Olive Garden Italian. 
Hmm. But anyway, y'all, how was y'all weekend? How was y'all weekend? Man, I was busy. And what y'all having? What y'all eating? I don't, oh my goodness, I didn't give y'all a bite. I didn't give y'all a bite. You want a bite? For my weekend, I knew it was leaning for some reason. It makes a little pump over here. Anyway, I probably should have left it that way because it looks better. Too late now, y'all. Um. Anyway, I was telling y'all that Friday, this past Friday, I had tickets to go see Carrie Underwood out at the Ravinia. It was dope. It was awesome. It was a great time. I think I want some ranch. I'm going to use Catalina on the other one. On the other part. Actually, oh, Carrie was here twice. She was here Friday and Saturday. My friend Alice gave me the tickets for Friday. Because she knows that I like country music. So I appreciate her a lot for that. Because that was the start of my weekend. So that was good on Friday. And then, what did I do Saturday, y'all? Some things are a blur. Because it wasn't always water in this cup. <laughs> What I do Saturday? Child. I'm, okay. Sunday, I got this t-shirt on. This t-shirt says Untouchable Fat Unity. It was my dance group when I was in high school. And we had uh, Thanks to Feel. Darnell is our uh, is the uh, creator, the founder, Darnell Payne, of New Fat U. Always giving him homage. Darnell's been my friend since we were like 13. Freshmen in high school together. And then, um, so it's been several generations of this dance group. The ones in the red shirts, we, we just the first, first generation. And we thank Phil, because he part of the younger generation. Well, Phil is 40s too now, but he put the cookout together, the reunion thing, and it was really awesome. It was amazing. It was awesome to see people that hadn't seen in a while. It was just a good time on Sunday. And Monday, he said we went to Hooters. And then my husband still put some, because uh, we went early. We went, we went fairly early, almost about 1 o'clock. And then we took uh, a couple of the grandkids, took our kids. And then, y'all want to bite? He still made just some burgers and hot dogs. That was it. And some corn. That's it. Y'all, why is Saturday such a blur? I'll get back to it. But anyway, tell me what y'all did. This week, upcoming weekend, finna be busy for me. Going to baseball game. Going to see the Cubs, of course. Going to a wedding. And then a watch party for the Green for uh to watch the Bears in Green Bay. I'm already tired thinking about it. Y'all, I am struggling over here to remember everything I did on Saturday. That must be for another video. But anyway, I always got some kind of message to give. Let me tell y'all. This food is good, I'm hungry. And then I'm mad too because I brought five wings home. You know how normally I can eat more than five for sure. But because the grandkids are there and um, the kids, we want to make sure they okay. So you moving around, paying attention to them and blah, blah, blah. So I really didn't eat as much as I wanted to. And then I told them to give me some sliced red onions and she brought me these. But I said, I'm not going to complain about it. Just thank you. We just got blue cheese, y'all. I like blue cheese. I see some chunks, blue cheese chunks right there. 
Get you a bite. Get you a good bite. Talk about procrastination, y'all. Procrastination is really the audacity to think you got more time. Let me say that again. Procrastination is the audacity to think we have more time. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. And sometimes we never get to it. And it was something we really should have gotten to. It will probably took us further. And whatever we're trying to do took us further in life. But we keep procrastinating. Sometimes you procrastinate so long, it never happens. It never manifests. Like this channel. Don't get me wrong. This channel is doing great. From what I hear from other people. It's doing really good numbers for me being here a little bit over 30 days. I'm almost at 600 subscribers. So I thank all of y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share. And hit the notification bell. But even in that though. If I had been obedient back then, or even just using or stop procrastinating, like I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it, I would have been further along. So sometimes we are our own enemy, we in our own way, thinking we got more time. What if? You say you're supposed to do something, you don't. You keep procrastinating, you never get the opportunity to do it again. No, I mean, I don't always mean when I'm saying we think we've got more time, meaning that you're going to just be gone and checking up out of here. I'm think, I'm saying we always think there's more time to do stuff. And for various reasons, whether we do leave this earth, whether um, what we were planning on doing, somebody else just slid on in and got it, However it looks like when we don't do something procrastinating that's a sense of vanity really like I'll do it, I'll get to it and all of us are guilty of it all of us have at some point of our life procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate it's actually a spirit that be on you you gotta pray it up off you you ain't necessarily lazy you just to get to it Sometimes we procrastinate out of fear. Sometimes we procrastinate out of lack of commitment to something. Because you know if you do it, if you have accountable, you got to keep doing it. Well, I've all that. But imagine just stepping out and doing what it is. You say you're going to do what you want to do. How much further along you'll be. Me. I watch people all the time on YouTube now, Facebook, whatever, and they are doing their thing. Some people I watch, like some people watch me for inspiration. Some people I watch for inspiration. But if them people never show up to inspire me, or if I never show up to inspire y'all, what you gonna do? Just not do it? Just not gonna be inspired? Move beyond the realm of inspiration or allow inspiration to make you do what it is you're supposed to do. Because I, I sit up, I, I'm telling you, I just sat up and just laid on the couch or sat up all day just scrolling aimlessly when some of that time should have been used wisely. But I was procrastinating. Some of us procrastinate. Not because we're afraid we're going, um, we're afraid to fail. Some of us are afraid to succeed because we know with success comes consistency. Success comes responsibility. Success comes with people watching you all the time, and sometimes you just don't want to be under that microscope. You want to be comfortable. You don't want to do extra sometime. But well, we already see what little, what the little that we do gets us. Why not turn it up a notch and step on that? And I'm talking to y'all and I'm talking to me. 
Don't y'all ever get on here and think that I'm, what I say to y'all, I haven't either gone through experience or, do, or, or dealing with it right now. I just was praying, God, listen, God, this procrastination spirit, procrastination spirit I have on me that I have allowed to reside in me way too long. We got to do something about this. Got to do something about this. Don't get me wrong. People get, I understand life will tire you out sometimes. So that's when you got to know the difference when your body is needs, needs to rest. Or we just be lazy and just say, ah, I'm going to do another day. You, when you push through, that's what matters. Pushing through, pushing yourself through. Anybody can do anything when they feel like it. It's just when you ain't feeling like it. That matters a little bit more. I'm telling you what I know. I just been so selfish. I ain't even sharing with y'all. I'm sorry. I'll get on the next bite. That chicken. Since it is a Hooters chicken, I'm here as well. Put blue cheese on it. I'm going to be all about that. Y'all. Part of my problem is I ain't been taking my vitamins. Because ain't no way. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. That I shouldn't remember what I'm thinking. But Lord, what was Saturday? Anybody been there? Just a brain fog and can't figure out what happened. Maybe I got to trace my day. What did I do Saturday? I feel a way about this. Oh. <laughs> okay. I knew it. My 30 year friend, Kim. My G, her and her husband celebrated 20 years of um, being married. And then after that, I went to the lodge because my husband was a worshipful master of his lodge. And they were doing a raisin. And so after that, they had food and I came up there. Me and Elena, the one you always see on the shorts with me out drinking. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what? But I still don't remember what I did Saturday morning just yet. A lot of it was I was recovering from Friday night. Not a whole lot of drink, just tired. Another bite. And I pray that y'all weekend was good. Y'all had a good holiday. I'm sure most people are back at work today. Don't get me wrong, there's other things in life that I procrastinated on. And there's other things in life that I did not procrastinate on. And y'all see the fruits of that labor. You see, y'all, that's the thing we have more time. And all they're doing is giving, giving the enemy more ammunition against us. Because then you start to feel bad about what you didn't do, what you should have done. And God don't do no condemning. He'll convict you so that you'll want to do better. It's the enemy that does the condemning. <clears throat> and we never want to be at that space with him. So, if there's something you're supposed to be doing, do it today. Even if it's just a little bit, do it today. Get started. I had two of these. And one of them kids didn't got the other one. Because this is what I had, my little leftover one. And I had a full one. I know I had five wings. I'm in the refrigerator this morning. <laughs> it was four of them. <laughs> After I eat this, Today ain't nothing but water. How's this pop? Water, fruits and vegetables. Because this re really is early, y'all. There's no way I should be eating no breakfast like this. But I wanted it. I wanted to get this video out. And I wanted to talk to y'all. I 
eat this last piece of chicken. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish the rest of this salad off lamb. Don't forget about them 83 cent wings. I forgot why they said they're doing it. I don't know if it's anniversary or something. But I know we went last month. I mean, we went last month. We didn't know. But when they told us, we just happened to be in there on the fourth. And they told us, so now my alarm is set. <laughs> my clock alarm is set for the fourth. Of these next few months. I like that one. Right now, it don't look like nothing but chunks. We really just dressing. Anyway. And don't be procrastinating because you're worried about what people are going to think or say. People going to talk about you if you're doing right, doing something, or if you ain't. So let them talk. I told you people still talk about me about this channel. But you know when God doing something, got you doing something, sometimes it ain't supposed to make sense to other people. Because the vision was given to you. The assignment was given to you. So it ain't for everybody to understand anyway. And you'll be a fool to keep on trying to explain it to people. Bottom line. This is good. It's been great talking to y'all. Let me know how y'all weekend went, y'all holiday weekend, back at work. Which is, oh, Lord, I almost forgot. This is Slay Timber. I was watching Vicky's World and um, her MRTV with Maria and Cowboy and she said some other ones are trying to or said they're going to do a video every day for the month of September. Um, it's called Slate Temper. You has to be, and it's not a short. I mean, if they put up shorts, that's fine, but there has to be a video like this or it could even be a live. So I'm jumping in on the Slate Temper too. However, I didn't find out about it on September 1st. But I've been doing videos anyway. But over the weekend, I just did shorts. Because I didn't watch a video until I think Saturday night or Sunday. But anyhow, welcome to Slate Timber. Y'all help me be held accountable to come here with a video with y'all every day for the month of September. All right, that was good. Please into my stomach. So we're gonna do what we always do. And let's pray up out of here. I pray the peace of God is always upon you and your family. I pray to his protection, his grace, and his mercy always surrounds you and any and everybody that's attached to you. I pray that you will fully walk out your purpose. Serve God for his glory and your benefit. And stop that damn procrastination. Love y'all. Have an awesome and amazing day.